So an exponential function is any function that has a positive base, positive real number, to the power of x. And in this video we're going to find the derivative of the most basic of exponential functions, a to the x. Now it's much easier to find this derivative if we use results that we already know. So we already know from our last video that the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. And to carry out this derivative I also assume that you'll know how to apply the chain rule. Okay, so the function a to the power of x I need to rewrite this to be in the form of e to the something. So on the right hand side, if I take the natural log, so now apply the natural log to a to the x. Now don't be alarmed because these sides are no longer equal to each other, but by this little magic trick I'm going to make them equal to each other. I'm going to raise the right hand side to the power of e, because e and natural log are opposite functions, so they cancel each other out. And once these are cancelled, I get back my a to the power of x, making the right hand side equal to the left hand side. Now, one of my log laws is a by the natural log of b is equal to log of b to the power of a. And uh, reversing this law, I can rewrite the right hand side as e to the power of x by log of a. So that just brings the x down to the front. And now I'm going to make the substitution. We're going to let u equals x by the natural log of a. Meaning e to the x by log of a becomes e to the u. So now by the chain rule, the derivative of e to the u with respect to x is equal to, well first let's call this y, because by the chain rule, dy dx equals dy du by du dx. Okay, so that's the definition of the chain rule. So now the derivative with respect to x of e to the u is d du of e to the u by du dx which is d dx of x log a. The first part we know the result that's e to the u. The second part simply evaluates to log of a because log of a is a constant and a constant times x, we simply lose the x when we take the derivative. So we get e to the u by log of a, and e to the u is e to the x log a by log of a. e to the x log a is equal to e to the log of a to the power of x. Copy down the log of a, and that's equal to, when we get back our a to the x by cancelling the e and the logarithm, e and the natural log, we get a to the x by log of a. And I think that's quite an elegant result. But we can also prove this, if you didn't think this method was robust enough, we can also prove this through first principles. So by the definition of the derivative, df dx is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, we can show that the derivative of a to the power of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the x plus h minus a to the x divided by h. The first time we can split and we can write this as the limit as a to the power of x, the limit as h approaches 0, that is, of a to the power of x by a to the h minus a to the power of x over h. If we factor out the a to the x 
a to the x is independent of h, so it can come out the front of the limit. So I'll write this as a to the power of x by the limit as h goes to 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h. Now I'm going to make the substitution. Let m equal a to the power of h minus 1. And therefore, that implies that m plus 1, or better yet, 1 plus m equals a to the h. Now if I take the log of both sides, I get log of 1 plus m equals the log of a to the h. The h can come out the front, giving me h by log of a, and this implies that h is equal to log of 1 plus m over the natural log of a. So I'm going to substitute this for h and this m for a to the h minus 1. Now for the limit, let's consider this one. Sorry, it's getting a little bit messy, but as h approaches 0, a to the power of h gets closer to 1. So 1 minus 1 equals 0, so therefore m also approaches 0. So we're going to rewrite the derivative of a to the x by first principles as a to the power of x by the limit as h approaches 0 of m all over the log of 1 plus m over the log of a. Sorry, it's not h goes to 0. It is actually m goes to 0. We have a double division here, so the bottom term, this log of a, and it being independent of m, can also come out the front. So I can further write this as a to the power of x by the log of a, by the limit as m approaches 0 of m, divided by the log of 1 plus m. Now, in our previous video, we found that this limit evaluates to 1. So we end up with a to the power of x by the log of a by 1, which of course just equals a to the power of x by log of a. So there you have it. We've just proved that the derivative of any exponential function a to the power of x, a being a positive real number, x being the exponent, is equal to a to the power of x by log of a, the natural log of a. Let's box that answer and keep this in your table of derivatives. And that'll do it for this video. If you have found this useful, please hit that like button, subscribe, share this all over the world with your study mates make my channel famous. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them and write them in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you. If you're feeling generous, there's a PayPal link in the description. I'd really appreciate any small donation you can contribute. For now, best of luck with your math studies, and I'll see you on the next video.